Dear students, this is 11th Zoology video class, chapter 13 and this video also can be seen by your Zoology students, chapter 12, Trends in Economic Zoology. In direct class, we have started this chapter. We have completed chapter 12 up to sericulture. We have completed up to sericulture. We have completed the next topic we are going to see is the one lack culture. The next topic we are going to see is the one lack culture. Students, take out your textbook. The whatever the important sentence the important word i ask you to underline just follow that one take out your textbook the topic we are going to see is the one lack culture culture means produce lack means that's a type of taste we can say as chemical substance we can see the lack culture the culture of lack insects using techniques for procurement of lack on large scale is known as lack culture so using large scale using the insects we are producing large scales of lack with the help of insect that is we call as a lack culture lack is produced by the lac insect. The insect name is Tacardia laca. Underline this word. Underline this insect's name. Tacardia laca. Previously known as Lacifer laca. Lacifer laca. It is a minute one. Resinous crawling scale insects which insert its proboscis into the plant tissue what is proboscis the insects parts we call as a proboscis underline that word the stinking cells are this insects they have the parts we call as a proboscis they, in, they inject that proboscis into the plant tissue and suck juice grows and secretes lac from the hind end of the body as a protective covering for its body. Moreover, moreover, the insects is a parasite on host plants. Example, just they are given, you can go through Karangali, Acacia, Catech, Karuvelai, Acacia, Nilotica, then Kumbadri, then Chelicera, Ulisa. So these are the examples of trees here the quality of lag depends upon the con the quality of lag depends upon the quality of the host plant so if the lag want to produce with the quality means that quality are decided by the plant the available of the plant where the insects used to extract the juice the female lag insect is responsible for large scale productions of lac which is larger than the male lac insect male lac insect the next next one is the one economic importance of lac next one is the one economic importance of lac this is very very important three marks point of view you can just note it down lac is largely used as sealing wax or adhesive for optical instruments. Adhesive means a sticking one, a pasting one. So optical instruments can be stick. Then it is used in electric industry as it is a good insulator. 
it is used in preparations of shoe and leather polishes and as a protective coating of wood and it is used laminating paper board photographs engraved materials and plastic molded articles then used as a filling materials for gold ornaments so these are the uses of lac culture then next topic is the one aquaponics this topic is not there straight away we will can go through next topic we call as a aquaculture next topic we call as a aquaculture as you all learned this word as you all aware of this word aquaculture what do you mean by aquaculture what do you mean by aquaculture here so this is this topic we are going to see aquaculture has been practiced in varying forms for countries dating the time of the phoenicians so this aquaculture have been practiced from ancient time to till the modern times okay just underline the phoenicians that's an ancient time we can say india offers a huge potential for aquaculture development a fish culture received fish culture received not notable attention in tamil nadu in 1911 so what is aquaculture just mark it out mark it out as a two marks define aquaculture here just mark from here take it aquaculture is a branch of science that deals with the farming of aquatic organisms such as fish mollusks crustaceans and aquatic plants so just mark it out important to mark just write what is aquaculture define aquaculture on the basis of source aquaculture can be classified into three categories they are fresh water aquaculture brackish water aquaculture marine water aquaculture we'll see one by one what is fresh water means you know the fish which can be cultured in fresh water that is was a fresh water aquaculture brackish water aquaculture that's a junction between the river as well as sea water dirty water that is we call as a brackish water aquaculture and marine water aquaculture so marine means you know sea water the fish which can be cultured in sea is called as a marine water aquaculture the culturing of fish is called as a fish culture or pc culture just underline one word point of view take out your textbook underline culturing of fishes is called as a fish culture or pc culture in land the water bodies include you can just go through fresh water bodies like rivers canals streams lakes food plains sorry flood plains wetlands so these are the inland water bodies reservoir reservoirs ponds tanks and other di uh, direct derelict water bodies and ponds constructed for the fresh water aquaculture the ph of water fresh water should be around a neutral and salinity below 5 ppt it's a parts per thousands that's a measurement of that water quality the next one is the one brackish water fishes spend most of its life in river mouth that's a estuaries we can see then then back into waters again the mangrove swamps and coastal lagoons so these are the examples for that one this next one is some estuary fish are more common in bengal underline and kerala underline this two place culturing of animals in the water harvesting salinity ranges from 0.5 to 30 parts per 1000 are called as a brackish water culture the fish culture in brackish water examples of brackish brackish water is one you can repeat after me milk fish milk fish that is chanas chanas sea bass that is kodua grey mullet that is madavai and pearl spot that is we also call them so these are the examples for the brackish water the next one is the one marine fishes deals with the fishing operations along the sea coasts 
In India, the subcontinent approximately has a 5,600 kilometers in long coastlines. Approximately 80% of Indian marine which is a supply the west coast and the remaining 20% is the east coast. Just you can underline this one. The examples also you can given. They are given just you can go through. And here the Tamil Nadu coast includes both cartilages as well as bony fishes you can underline. The culturing of animals in the water salinity ranges from 30 to 35 parts per thousand scholars of mariculture. Important two marks. What is mariculture? Take a your textbook, just underline mariculture. The culturing of animals in the water salinity ranges from 30 to 35. PPT scholars are mariculture. Examples of mariculture is the one Chanas species, the Mukil cephalus, a culture here. The culturing of animals in salinity ranges from 36 to 40. PPT scholars are meta aligned. They'll ask you one word what is the range of meta aligned? They'll ask you what is the range of meta important one word 36 to 40 PPT. Example, brine, brin shimp, aritima salina. Here, aritima, this is one of the important one word. You can underline, aritima is a commonly known as a brine shimp. It is a crustacean and leaves a high salinity water because of its high hasmo regularity capacity. So, important one word, neat point of view, they'll ask you this one, just mark it out. Then next topic is the one, fish culture. Next topic is the one, fish culture. Here, the culturing of fish we call as a fish culture. So, what are the characteristics of fish we need to look into once if you are going to culture the fish? So, these are the characteristics of cultivable fishes they given here. The fish should have high growth rate in short period of for culture. Then, a fish should accept the supplementary diet. The fish should be hard enough to resist some common diseases and infections of parasites. The fishes proposed for polyculture should be able to live together without interfering or attacking other fishes. The fish what we are going to select for culturing. So that fish should not arm to other animals or to other fishes. That's what they say in the next point. Then afterwards here. Next topic is the one. Next point, okay. The cultural characteristic of cultural fish is last point. They should have high conversion efficiency. High conversion efficiency so that they can effectively utilize the food. Even if you give any food items to that fish, that food item must be converted to the form of flesh. Such kind of fish we must select. The next one is the one types of cultivable fishes. The cultivable fish are three types, indigenous or you can say native freshwater fishes, salt water fishes, acclimatized for fish water, the exotic fishes. Just go through this one, important two marks. The next, the among these, the major crops have prov proved to be best suited for culture in India. The major cups, that's a type of species of fish cups, can die, we can say. How these cups are proved to be best suited for culture in India? The reasons are coming as far as one by one. The feed on zooplankton and phytoplankton, as well as decaying weeds and debris and other aquatic plants. They used to eat which one? This cups, major cups, can die, we say. And they can survive in turbid water with a slightly higher temperature. The next point is the one can tolerate oxygen variations in water. Can be transported from one place to another place easily. They are highly nutritive and palatable. So this is what we call as a some of the cops. Major cops, mullet, katla, katla, mullet common cups. So these fishes can have, these are the characteristics, since they adopt this type of characters, it is best suited to develop in India country. The external factors affecting a fish, temperature, light, rain, water, flood, water current, you can go through, 
the management of fish farm the fish the culture of fish one should have an idea about different stages of the fish culture such as topographic situation quality source physical chemical and biological factors of water those who are going to have fish farm they should have knowledge of this the point what we are so far seeing the breeding hatching nursing rearing and stocking fishes in ponds has to be managed properly so we'll see one by one the breeding part the first step the first step in fish culture is the breeding of fishes therefore for proper breeding special types of ponds are prepared called as a breeding ponds next is the one types of breeding depending on the mode of breeding they are divided into natural breeding that's a bunt breeding so these are special type of bonds where the natural riverian conditions or any natural water resources managed for breeding of culturable fishes then second one is the induced breeding the fish seed is commonly collected from the breeding grounds but does not guarantee but does not guarantee that all fish seed belongs to the same species hence advanced techniques have been developed to improve the quality of fish seed by artificial methods of fertilization and inducing breeding and next one is the one you can just mark it on male and female fish starts to span so which means span means release of gametes and eggs are fertilized the fertilized eggs are removed from the spanning place and kept into hatching that is because a half pass just mark it half pass mark it two marks important one the next one fish seed fish seed is collected from breeding ponds the spawn collecting net is commonly called the benji chali benji chal the shooting net and transfer to the hatching pits transfer to the hatching pits the next one is the one hatching pit the fertilized eggs are kept in hatching pits the hatching pit should be nearer to the breeding grounds should be smaller in size with a good quality water there are two types of hatching pits let's say hatcheries are small size ponds which unfertilized eggs are transferred and hatching happens the hatching happens a rectangular trough shaped tanks made up of mosquito net cloth supported by bamboo poles and fixed in the river like this the pulp of bamboo poles just a fix and just they have a mesh net mosquito net and they just leave the fish in that one manuring should be done in to increase the productions with cow dung and chemical fertilizing should also be done the next one is harvesting harvesting is done ca- done to capture the fish fishes from the water well grown well grown fishes are taken out for marketing the small size fish are again released into the stocking ponds for further growth the different methods of fishing are carried out to harvest the fishes the next one is the one composite fish farming a few selected fishes belong to the different species are stocked together in proper proportions in a pond this mixed farming is termed as the composite fish farming or polyculture the advantages available niches are fully utilized the comp- compatible species do not arm each other no competitions among different species is found examples of this one katla katla labio rogita syringus mirgula are commonly used fish species for composite fishing then exotic fishes the fishes imported into country for fish culture are called as exotic fish such fish culture is known as exotic fish culture example cyprinus scorpio this repeat after me you can underline cyprinus scorpio oreochromis mosambicus the disease management 
diseases can be viral or bacterial origin regular monitoring of parameter like water quality aerations regular feeding observations for mortality should be checked parasitic infestations and microbial infections should be observed periodically then economic importance of fish the fishes form a rich source of proteins food and provide a good stable food to tie over the nutritional needs of man here we will see one by one yeah, the fish is the rich in fats such as omega 3 fatty acids are present you can underline that word the fish oil is the most important fish by by product it is derived from the fish liver underline they'll ask you all the fish liver and they'll ask you fish oil is extracted from the fish liver and from the fish body fish liver oil is derived from the fish liver underline one word which is rich in vitamin a and d the next one fish meal it is prepared from fish waste after extracting oil from the fish the next is sink glass very very important to mark this mark it out is a high grade collagen produced from the dried air bladder or swim bladder of certain fishes that is cat fishes and cops the processed bladder which is dissolved in hot water forms a gelatin having adhesive property it is a primarily used for clarifications of wine beer and vinegar the next one is one prawn culture this one we'll see the next topic so today we are seeing fish culture then different types of breeding we are seeing and also we are seeing what is aquaculture and also we are seeing what is lack culture next topic we are going to see is the one prawn culture if you have any doubt we can discuss in the direct class or if you have any doubt you can contact me through whatsapp okay bye take care